What is up, dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description? And a warm welcome once again to Awesome Fun in Minecraft with me, your host, Oz. Hello, it's nice to see you again. We're back at the Starlight Drive-In, where we're going to start filling it up with vehicles. As you can see, we've got one over there. Let's go have a look at this beauty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that vehicle. Isn't she a beaut? Yep, that's a 1971 Cadillac Eldorado in blue. Well, it's my version of it, at least. At least it is, yes. Let's have a look around this thing and see what it's all about. So we've got the nice grill on the front there, the iron frame, and I'm loving this new combination stone button and the ocean lamp, sea lamp inside there. Just, yeah, does something really nice got the traditional wheels there come around to the back we've got the nice red lapis blocks to form the stop kind of lights which are really cool and then we actually do have to build a block just to climb into it to have a look we got the steering wheel here for turning and moving the vehicle uh, we've got a gear shift there I'm not sure if the Eldorado even have a gear shift I assume even automatics have a shifting lever though right I know, only know how to drive stick. And then we've got this nice carpet bit on the back to show the kind of folded down roof, along with the white half windscreen and some carpets raising up the front there to give it the profile of the Cadillac Eldorado, or at least a convertible of some description. I'm going to show you how to build one of these awesome Cadillac convertible cars right now. Here in my inventory and in my shulker boxes are all the materials that we need for building a whole bunch of vehicles but as this is a tutorial video all of the items will be listed in the description below. So let's get started here. Start by placing down our coal block. Also going to need our stone button as well to place on the outside. Then we put a two wide gap in between so we've got two spaces in between and build the next one there. Then we come down four, one, a two, three, and four. And then we place another one there with a two block gap and on the outside. And make sure all of these have got stone buttons up on the outside. So that is our wheels in place. Now this vehicle we're going to make is going to be a red one. Okay, now I'm a big fan of the, uh, I think the... The, yeah, it's a film as well as the books in it. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And in that film, they ride a red Cadillac Eldorado in the film. And it is very, very cool. Very, very cool. So we're just going to do a rectangle around the outside of red blocks. So just starting one in front of your front wheel and coming to one behind it. Leave the open, center bit open. Don't close that off of them just now because it's useful for doing the inside. And then we do the back, one back from the front. We complete that with two blocks of the, your color choice, red in this particular instance in between. Then on the front, we use two iron blocks just like this to make the grill. We then use our buttons, place the button first for the headlight, then place the item frame, and then last of all, place the sea lantern. And that gives us our front grill there. We can then come around, and I've been using polished andesite stairs. They're the most metallic looking, I think. There is a variant of this where you can use red nether brick stairs on, above the tires, and it, it does look quite good. There's just, I think the thing with, uh, when I was playing around with trying to work out the best convertible design is there's so many little variations that you can use that are just down to your personal choice. So we put the upside down and the side stairs above all the four tires there. Then our next thing to do is come and do the inside. For this we need and the side slabs. So yeah, we just get it in one behind the wheel and bring it all the way back to above the other wheel. Yep. I suppose actually it would make more sense then, wouldn't it? Yeah, to bring it forward. That does look better. So yeah, we'll actually bring it all the way around from in line with this wheel to in line with that wheel. And we make that all our silver metal looking andesite or closest to metal that we get. Then we basically come one square back to put two white quartz, quartz stairs even. 
into position there and two on the back. We can then fill in the back bit here with our same colored block. Oh, we're on red now. Blue was last time. Next, we place two bits of red carpet along either edge there, just to the side of the grill. Next, we're going to use some white glass. This actually might look better with black glass because it's red. Yeah, and then this is a variant you could do. So you could use white carpet here for this. Or you can use quartz slabs for this. So I think either looks nice, whether you do this or whether you do, you know, white carpet instead in the way that I've done the black carpet there. It can look nice too. Now next, of course, we need to put an item frame with a lever next to it. I need to grab a record disc. Ah, we've got one that's red. Cool. I actually need to go and collect more of these things. Excellent, that red looks really nice in the interior. And that's our interior bit done. Let's check a little bit around the outside. So yep, on the rear here, we just need to put on two item frames with a redstone block on the back for the brake lights. And it is as simple as that to make one of these convertibles. Now I'm not sure what I think is better, the black glass or the white glass. Let's test. It's hard to decide. I think it's maybe the white. Yeah, I think it's the white. But there is our second Cadillac convertible in red version there with a slight variant on the retractable hood there of making it a bit chunkier using the quartz blocks. But it's just because you don't get half slabs and similar things. So the other thing we can do, thought to try. No, I think it looks kind of weird. I think the silver looks better. There we are, back to all silver all the way around. So that is how you build a basic model of the convertible vehicle that we'll be using in the drive-in and it's already looking awesome. Just having even two vehicles here, it does seem to be changing the way this whole thing looks, making it look much more drive-in-esque. So what we're gonna do now is build ourselves a third vehicle together on camera here, this time showing you a variant of having the roof up on the vehicle. So we're gonna do this one. I think we'll move a little bit further down, further away from the screen. So I've moved a little bit further down here so that we can build up our next version of the vehicle. So once again, we're starting with our coal block with a button on the outside coming two over from that and creating another coal block with a button on it. Then we're creating a gap of one, two, three, and four, and then placing down another block and then another one, just four down away from it and two apart. So that gives us our four wheels that we're creating. And this one is going to be a yellow version of it. So we'll once again, do yellow blocks, do all the way down. One over the top of each tire in a straight line. Then we come back. Yeah, we come back one and fill in four blocks. So the next two rows back from the front one there. Grab our iron blocks and place them in the front. We next place our buttons on here, followed by our item frames on either headlight and then into the item frame, the C lantern. Next, we go around and above every tire, we replace the yellow block that's there with our polished andesite stairs and the upside down position so what I learned from making Ghostbusters Ecto-1 it's so much easier to do this once you place blocks in position next we get our polished andesite slabs and we place them all the way from between the front tires to between the back tires like so to give us our inside now, next, we're going to use, I think, I'm still thinking white glass is the current way to go. Is it getting nighttime? Going to have to have another sleep in a sec. And we place our glass from behind the stairs 
around and one behind then on top of our stairs and one in front of that we place our yellow next on the inside we place our item frame on the front left hand side with a music disc inside it to act as the steering wheel our lever there determined to do it before bed and then two quartz stairs on the front just one block away from the wheel and then a block in between and two facing this direction then we fill in the back with the yellow too now oh i already see mobs let's hope there's not any creepers if there's a spider around here now i should just go to my bed when it's still daylight and learn my lesson so next we have to grab our two item frames and place our two item frames place them on the back with a red stone block inside them like so and so now this variant is where we want to add a roof onto the back so have we got the yeah we've got the got the quartz slab that we need so to make this with a convertible with a roof on it we're going to place a yellow block oh not there a yellow block above both sets of stairs there we're then going to place quartz stairs on the back along all four blocks then we're going to use quartz slabs to cover well fell off to completely cover the area stopping at in line with our stairs there and just fill in this whole roof area and then we use our white stained glass to fill in the blanks pick up this block no longer needed and there we have the convertible but with its roof up and i'm quite liking that variation it just it does look a bit just like it's a car <laughs> rather than the convertible and maybe these blocks would be better if they were white maybe even pillar would look nice there let's try this Oh, that's much nicer because it's got the texture on it yeah that that's that's the variation we're looking for there so there we have the convertible with its roof not yet put down this guy's just arrived into the drive and hasn't had time to take his roof down quite yet so now that we've got our third convertible in I'm just gonna throw in a few different designs on the time-lapse and let you have a look at those and we'll see what other different cool color variations and minor differentiations we can put between our vehicles to give us a bit more variety as we fill up the Starlight Drive-In. Okay, so I can resist also adding a little place in our driving for horse face the horse that I'm here with right now. <laughs> yeah, you seem to like it. You seem to like it a lot. Yeah, loving it. Horse face can now watch the movies as long as you know it's an age appropriate movie. If it's Star Wars, fine. If it's Evil Dead, I don't want you having nightmares. Horse face, okay, ruining that beautiful purple outfit that you've got there so let's take a little look at some of the variants we put into our driving we started with the sort of black and white car and i think this one is really nice i like it i like it black concrete 
with black carpet. Yep, just a variant of that. This one I went for, this kind of like a disco mobile, so a nice use of the rarely used purple slab with our dark prismarine seats inside there. And yep, the white finish. And a, finally a chance, because the Ghostbusters sign covered it up on my Ecto-1, to use the quartz pillar to simulate the door there. And I really, really like that one. That one is pretty cool. But this one, of course, purple being my favoritist of colors, if you haven't guessed, from the other deck or around the base and area that I reside in. This is the purple variation of it. And I really, really like it. Although I still can't decide whether I like having the chunky quartz slabs on the back there, or if I prefer maybe the white carpet. So I might change that at a later date. So those are all of our vehicles added. I wanted to leave some spaces to add additional different types of vehicles. I've got a few plans for that as well. But I think the last thing we need to do to bring all these cars watching the movies to life is to add some passengers using the Stick God customization armor standee data pack of awesomeness yeah and then we can add some people into this scenario and there we have six passengers or drivers in our six vehicles ranging from this wandering trader there who's killing himself laughing almost dropping his popcorn this guy just chilling drinking a soda this guy really sticking his neck out to get a good view we've got the chilling dragon just in the back there Someone who's just arriving, pulling up their car, still at the steering wheel. And someone who is parked there, but looks like they're about to flick the control to take down their roof to enjoy the convertible film. So that, the convertible film, what's that? I've made so many mistakes today in my, the way, I'm just speaking, sometimes isn't my thing, you know. I think I said red lapis blocks, talking about a redstone block earlier as well. I don't know what's happening to me today. So yeah, if we take a look at some of them up close, this guy's who looked like he was leaning crazily, it sort of works from this level to look like he's just tilting his head back to relax and view the screen. Here we can see also the dragon dude is drinking a soda in his disco mobile. And this one I think is really cool though. The funny thing is if you actually get inside and look at it, it looks totally weird because in order to make it look like the steering wheel was like attached to the block I had to move it so far forward so his legs are crushed inside that block but when you're down here or above as you saw there it looks fine just looks like he's pulling in at the wheel and this place is coming together awesome now don't you think snack bar crew you making lo lots of diamonds for us you making all the profits yeah get selling more sodas more popcorns more tickets oh geez <laughs> when did you guys arrive? You need a you need a vehicle in order to come here. Yeah, yeah, vehicle. No, you can't just walk in. No, sorry, sorry. Get security, guys. Did I tell you as well as working this night wire? Also security. If you don't mind dealing with those guys, actually, don't, don't let them see your heads. I don't want them to ask where they came from. So we have added a lot more vehicular life to our driving today. We've added six new vehicles, five regular convertibles with their hoods down, one with the roof up, and of course our cheeky little place for horse face in the front there. Front row seat for horse face in their own special little stand in order to see the film. And in the back there we still have Ecto-1 from the previous episode. So there's still a few slots left to be filled in. So we're going to be designing some more vehicles, coming up with some more different ideas. I'm looking for things that look radically different. I've got one idea of one thing that's going to go in one slot, definitely one for another slot. And I want to think about maybe some motorbikes and things as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Remember, this is You of Tube. So if you love the video, do all the YouTube things. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you what they are because everybody tells you. So thank you very much, dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description for joining me. And I'll see you next time for some more awesome fun.